The M1070 tractor and the M1000 trailer combine to make a heavy equipment transporter system that fully satisfies the difficult mission of loading, unloading, and transporting Army equipment and crews worldwide. The mission of the Heavy Equipment Transporter System is an important one. To provide line haul, local haul, maintenance evacuation, and maneuver unit relocation of the M1 main battle tank, as well as other heavy tracked and wheeled vehicles and equipment during tactical and combat operations, both on and off-road worldwide. In order for the HET to complete its mission, the M1070 tractor must be coupled to the M1000 semi-trailer. Be sure to review all safety warnings and procedures in your operator's manual before beginning this operation. The tractor must be prepared for coupling before the tractor is backed underneath the semi-trailer. It's important to make sure the area around the vehicle is clear and that the semi-trailer load, if any, is secured. First, you need to check the fifth wheel then the V-entry ramps, the kingpin, steering wedge, and gooseneck pickup plate, making sure there is a generous amount of grease. Insufficient lubrication could result in damage to the equipment. Make sure the tractor fifth wheel side-to-side -side oscillation lockouts are disengaged for all tractor semi-trailer operations or the equipment could be severely damaged. When the fifth wheel is in position, continue the preparation for coupling. Next, visually check the fifth wheel for any cracked, damaged, or missing parts. Then make sure the front and rear support legs are lowered and supporting the platform. Pull the fifth wheel primary lock release handle completely out and hook it in the out position. Then. Pull out the secondary lock release handle and hook it in the out position. Make sure that the mounting bolts are tight. Check that the locking jaws are open and ensure that the semi-trailer kingpin isn't bent or broken. The next step is to prepare the M1000 semi-trailer for coupling. First, make sure that the curbside and streetside number one bogies are chocked in front and behind the outer dual tires. Next is the operation of the APU. Remember to always wear hearing protection within 10 feet of the APU when the APU is in operation or injury can result. Now, start and run the APU at full throttle. Check to make sure the oil pressure light goes out within 15 seconds. If it stays lit, shut down the APU immediately or equipment may be damaged. Allow the APU to run at least three to five minutes so that it can warm up. Do not subject the APU to any load until it has warmed up properly, or premature failure may occur and shorten the life of the engine. Before adjusting the gooseneck height, be sure to pull out both the suspension shutoff and gooseneck isolation valve handles to the adjust position, or injury could result from unexpected movement and equipment could be damaged. Check to make sure the kingpin is at the same height as the tractor fifth wheel. If not, the assistant operator will need to adjust the gooseneck height using the gooseneck valve. 
Also, remember that coupling should be done with the head tractor and trailer straight in line. If the steering wedge of the trailer is not aligned with the fifth wheel, you must operate the steering valve to align them, or the equipment could be damaged. Never back under the trailer at an angle more than 45 degrees, because you might push the trailer sideways and cause damage to the support legs and steering wedge. When everything is in position, the tractor is ready to be backed under the semi-trailer. Start the HET tractor. Then, release the parking brakes and put the transmission in reverse. Slowly back the tractor to within five feet of the semi-trailer gooseneck and stop. Two personnel are required for coupling and during hookup, the operator of the tractor needs to know the position of the spotter at all times. The assistant needs to be positioned at the left rear and away from the path of travel of the tractor. Make sure no one is behind the tractor or trailer or under the trailer neck during coupling or a serious injury could result. The assistant operator must loosen the steering wedge adjusting nut to ensure that the wedge can be properly fitted and tightened after the kingpin is locked in the fifth wheel. The assistant operator then signals the operator to back up slowly to align the fifth wheel and steering wedge with the kingpin. The assistant operator must use the steering valve to manually align the steering wedge with the kingpin and visually check the tractor fifth wheel, B entry, kingpin and steering wedge for alignment. The assistant needs to signal the operator to stop when the fifth wheel is approximately two inches from the gooseneck pickup plate. The operator should then shift the transmission into neutral and apply the parking brake. The assistant operator lowers the gooseneck pickup plate to approximately two inches lower than the fifth wheel and rechecks the steering wedge alignment and makes final adjustments if necessary. The tractor and semi-trailer are now ready for coupling. The operator releases the tractor parking brakes and begins to back up. The truck should continue to back slowly until the fifth wheel jaws lock around the kingpin, then stop. The operator then moves the tractor forward slightly, applying pressure against the kingpin to secure the coupling. Next, put the tractor in neutral again and apply the parking brakes. The assistant operator visually checks that the primary and secondary lock release handles are locked in position. Ensure that the fifth wheel jaws are locked around the kingpin. Make certain the kingpin is not locked over the front of the fifth wheel or the truck could be damaged. Chalk the HET tractor tires at the fourth axle on both the front and rear of the tires. Make sure the semi-trailer number one bogies are chalked. Remove the inner vehicular wiring harness from storage and connect it to the electrical connector. Then connect the tractor emergency and service air hoses to the semi-trailer emergency and service glad hands. The emergency hose is normally red and the service hose is normally blue. Release the trailer air supply button to pressurize the trailer air system and allow enough time to charge the air tanks. Due to the characteristics of the air spring suspension, approximately five minutes must be allowed for the suspension to compensate for the added load or the suspension could be damaged. Next, the operator and assistant operator tighten the steering wedge adjustment nut into the fifth wheel. 
When the coupling is secured, raise and secure the front and rear support legs. Push the gooseneck isolation valve handle inward to the run position. Make any minor deck height adjustments if necessary. and push the suspension shutoff valve handle to the shutoff position. Close and secure the hydraulic control panel. Then shut down the APU. Closing and securing the APU control panel. Next, the trailer must be prepared for travel. Remove the chock blocks from the tractor and semi-trailer and stow them. The operator checks the air pressure gauge. Reading should show 100 to 125 PSI. Then the operator releases the tractor parking brakes and makes sure the semi-trailer parking brakes are applied. Move the tractor forward slightly to make sure the steering wedge is secured in the tractor fifth wheel. Then release the semi-trailer parking brakes and drive forward approximately 60 feet to check the semi-trailer tracking. If it does not track properly, use the manual steering valve to realign steering until it does track in a straight line. Refer to your manual for instructions. Before traveling, the operator should also check all vehicle brakes. First, the service brake. Then, the trailer hand brake. The HET is now coupled and ready to fully complete its mission. When the head tractor and semi-trailer need to be uncoupled, there are several precautions to take. First, do not uncouple a loaded semi-trailer from the tractor to perform maintenance tasks on the semi-trailer, or injury could result and equipment could be damaged. Secondly, don't uncouple the head if the tractor has less than normal air pressure, approximately 100 to 120 PSI, or the trailer won't have enough air pressure to apply or release the brakes. Make sure the trailer handbrake control is completely released before applying the tractor parking brakes or the trailer could lose its reserve air supply. To prepare the M1070 tractor and M1000 semi-trailer for uncoupling, the vehicle must first be parked in as straight a line as possible. The tractor must then be placed in neutral and the parking brakes need to be applied. Next, remove the wheel chocks from the gooseneck area. Place one in front and one behind each outer set of dual tires for both the left and right front bogies. Be sure to chock the trailer during uncoupling or the trailer could roll, resulting in damage to the trailer or personal injury. Lower both front and rear support legs to support the semi-trailer platform. It's important to lower the front support legs to support the platform before operating the gooseneck isolation valve, or injury could occur and equipment could be damaged. Loosen the steering wedge adjusting nut, turning it counterclockwise. Then pull out both the primary and secondary lock release handles. Start and run the APU at full throttle and allow it to warm up. Pull both the suspension shutoff valve handle and the gooseneck isolation valve handle to the adjust position. Be sure that all personnel around the truck stand clear during uncoupling or injury could result. Then release the tractor parking brakes and make sure the semi-trailer parking brakes are applied. Drive the tractor forward approximately one foot, then stop and apply the tractor parking brakes again. The assistant operator raises the gooseneck off the fifth wheel approximately three inches. The intervehicular wiring harness cable must be disconnected from the semi-trailer and then stowed. 
Disconnect the tractor emergency and service air hoses from the semi-trailer emergency and service glad hands. The operator then releases the tractor parking brakes and drives forward slowly approximately five feet until it's clear of the semi-trailer gooseneck. The assistant operator lowers the gooseneck to the lowest position. Push the gooseneck isolation valve handle into the run position. If no adjustments are needed, push the suspension shutoff valve to the shutoff position and close and secure the hydraulic control panel cover. <laughs> Finally, shut down the APU and close the control panel. The M1070 tractor and the M1000 trailer combined to make a heavy equipment transporter system that fully satisfies the difficult mission of loading, unloading, and transporting Army equipment and crews worldwide, making sure the Army is in a high state of operational readiness at all times for any situation.